During our meditation, let me first say that I know it's a bit weird for me to wear a hat, but I'm undergoing chemo right now and I'm losing my hair, so I think that it looks better like this than it would the other way. I would like to ask you to close your eyes and join me in prayer for a few minutes. This is that sweet moment of prayer that we've all been waiting for. A time to begin again. A time to turn to the presence of God and have that reassurance of God, of health and radiating pure thought inspire through our minds. We are praying today for a special new realization of God. God is unlimited and there is a tremendous supply of good that is available to us. Dear God, we know the power of prayer and we know that it can transform our negative thinking. It can change the darkness into light in a twinkling. It can lift up heavy hearts and inspire depressed minds with new and challenging ideas. Where God wills and works, wondrous things happen. Miracles materialize. God, we know that you are the, su the absolute support of our lives and you are our daily supply. We know that you are working within us to will and to do your work. We know, God, that it is you that prospers us. And in this prayer time, God, we open our minds and our hearts to fresh inspiration from you. And we realize in our human mind that there's always more. That you can bring forth through our minds and that you will make our lives more worthwhile and more meaningful. We know that you are aware of what we are in need of and that you will provide the supply and you will provide the very source to what we need in divine ideas. God, we give thanks that your supply is at hand, available to us directly right now. In this realization, we rest in the silence of prayer. How good it is to remember that God is working in and through us to do the good of God. How good it is to remember that God cannot fail. How good it is to constantly remember that with God we can be more successful in life. How good it is to know that with God, we can absolutely realize the true secret of success. That we have something that no one else can impart to us or take from us. This secret that we, of ourselves, do not create prosperity or success. No matter how hard we work, it is God who works in us to will and to do God's good. You realize this now. You realize your connection now. You consciously let go 
and you let God work in you to will and to do God's good. Ways open to you in this moment where there seem to be no way. Doors are open to you in this moment where there seem to be no door open before. You find that you can be both happy and successful. That you have abilities and powers that are needed. God working through you to will and to do God's good urges you to use your gift from God in an effective way, in a powerful way that can permanently change your life in a way that happens right now. God's law of good is continually at work and it is at work right now attracting your own good to you, directing you to just that that is right for you. Accept this now with total human mind in the silence of prayer. You trust God to guide you. You trust God to make the way to your right place. You are one with the bounty of Christ and good of God flows into your life. You are a spiritual heir to all of God's ever-present supply and you are prospered. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak words of plenty and you are abundantly prospered. You have faith in that abundant supply. Faith inspires and directs you to God good in every day of your living. You trust God's power in your life. Abundant prosperity is continually made manifest in your life because God is good and that good comes through you. God supplies you with an unlimited abundance for every need, and you are prospered. You have direct access to the rich ideas of the Holy Spirit, and your life is now filled with plenty. The Christ Spirit is at work in and through you, in every situation of your life, to make overflowing good a reality of your life. Every moment, every day, every month, every year. This is decreed in the name and through the power of Jesus Christ. We thank you, God. Amen.